Hey guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new watercolor palette that I just got off of Amazon. I think it's going to work out pretty good for adding some watercolor to my cards, but I wanted to give you guys a look at it as I'm opening it up and my first little couple of tests. So I just got this in. This is a Pev Art empty half pans watercolor mixing palette um i have not had one of these before i've gotten always gotten my watercolors in a set but i have gotten some individuals and some tubes of watercolor so i thought this would probably be a good idea to try out so we're going to go ahead and unbox this and see what comes in it and see um yeah see a little bit about what this is It is kind of heavy, so it comes with a water coloring brush and yeah, so it comes with a brush and that's kind of nice that it actually has a place for you to put your lid because some of the other ones that I've got, I have not had that. So we'll see how that does. I've had some watercolor brushes that I did not like before. It also has a little thumb ring for you to be able to hold it. So paint with your right hand, hold it with your left. That's kind of nice. And then when we open it, oh my goodness. Okay, so I've got this bag that's full of half pans. I did not realize that this was also full. It looks like there's also some stickers so you can label some things. And there is a pouch for carrying because I'm also thinking this is the perfect size for me to take when I travel. So when it is closed up, it comes to about five, five by three inches, so it's nice and small. This will fit in my purse or in my suitcase really easily. And we've got our little pans here that you can fill with your own watercolor. If you've got liquid water, watercolor, the way that those are normally supposed to work is you fill them up and let them dry, and then you reconstitute it with water. Okay, so we've got that. It looks like this is probably a side that you can also add some more pans in, or maybe these are just extras. I may have to look up to see exactly how it's supposed to be used, but I think that's what that side for. And this side looks like it's supposed to be for you to be able to mix and everything. And since it's watercolor, you'll be able to, of course, I'm just looking to see if I can actually put them in here and have it fit snug enough. I have a feeling you can't. Now these are probably just extras so that you can store them and then you can just bring the colors that you need with you. So I think that is really, really cool. I'm happy with it. Um, it's going to be a question whether or not the watercolor brush works well. So let me go ahead and fill, fill it up with water. I have had some where no matter how much I squeeze, it does not want to come out. So that may just be where they're clogged. So I'm just putting a little bit of watercolor in there just to show that that's kind of what you're supposed to do. Um, these are from, my watercolors are from Michaels, um, just because this is like the first set that I ever got of liquid watercolor and then I never used any pans for them. So these are the little tubes normally come with a thing on the top to be able to punch the, the seal. I did open it up and try using it a couple of times just straight. But it's been a while. So the first was Vermilion, and then I've got this is like a green, which is called Viridian. And you just squeeze a little bit of it in there. Or you can fill it up all the way. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And then you will let it dry, but then once you do, you're able to reconstitute it with your watercolor brush. So let me. Actually, I've got a couple of other things that I use for watercoloring. I use ink sometimes. So let me get out some ink. This is water reactive ink, just to show the brush. So I just put a little bit of ink down on my table and just grab a piece of paper. This is just some regular weight cardstock, just to show that this does work. I'm gonna add a little, actually, it comes out pretty fast. So it does work really well. I'm used to having to squeeze. So just taking a little bit of that and then spreading it on there. So it does work fine. I think that is lovely. So 
So yeah, so if I like the brush, I'm gonna be using this one, period, because it actually works. I've had, like I said, I've had brushes that don't. So this is going to stay on my desk, even when I'm not using this little case. So anyway, this, I do think I like it. Um, if you want something that is small, compact, that you can carry around, it is a little heavy because of the metal. I think this is probably, it's either aluminum or steel, but it feels heavier than just plain aluminum. And you've got the areas that you can come in and do some mixing. Okay, orange and green make brown, so this is gonna just turn into mud, but you do have your mixing area. And that mud had a little bit more orange in it, but yeah, I think this works out pretty good. So if that's something that you're looking for, the price point isn't bad either. Um, I've got a link to this down in the description, so yeah. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.